Hi, I'm, I'm Peter Dressler with Morgan, Elevata, yeah. and uh, this is my colleague, uh, Daniel Cohen Morgan. Uh, he's also a master's uh, candidate at Ohio State University, the Ohio State University uh, in bioinformatics. And um, today we're going to, Elevata, uh, for those uh, that aren't aware, uh, we're a data management company. We have an annotation tool that uh, works with Transmart. But today, uh, and, and the reason I wanted Daniel uh, to give this talk from a curator's perspective is we'd like to announce a uh, data set. Um, this morning we saw thousands of studies in Transpart 1.1, and right now we're going to demo one study in Transpart 1.2. We're pretty excited about that. But it's the start of a, a, a data set that we're building uh, specific to uh, uh, a couple of blood cancers that are of uh, personal interest. We do want to say that the MDS ML data set that we're uh, working on developing, uh, we will uh, uh, curate it or, or Elevata will promote the uh, project. Um, but we do expect to contribute all the data uh, to the Transmart community on a GitHub repo. Uh, additionally, we're publishing it to a feed, and so you'll be able to point as we progress with the project, your, uh, at least your 1.2 instance, and I, I think you can actually use the ETL in 1.1 uh, plus versions of Transmart uh, to point at uh, public feeds uh, using the Transmart data repo. And if there are any questions about that, feel free to come see us afterwards. Um, uh, we really want to encourage people to uh, give us suggestions about the data set, and um, we're open to collaboration. We we would love it to make it a premier data set about these blood cancers um, and uh, make it available publicly in Transpire. So, Daniel. Thanks for the intro. So Peter is the tech behind this project. I'm the uh, biological interest. Um, so today I'm gonna to be talking about a project that's um, close to my own personal research at Ohio State. Um, it's curating uh, a few AML and MDS microarray data sets. Um, so like Peter said, I'm a graduate student at Ohio State. Um, I've been working with a couple of clinical oncologists who specialize in uh, acute myeloid leukemia um, to overlay some data, some, some characteristics of the cancers on the public data sets that already exist. Uh, specifically of interest are the ELN classifications um, and this is all in the hope that they will better inform um, prognosis and uh, response to therapy models, um, which is kind of my thesis work right now. Um, so uh, of specific note, um, using the RPPA protein data. Um, so a little bit of background on ALM itself. Um, it's a proliferative white blood cell disorder uh, affecting primarily uh, elder, elderly males um, with an overall uh, survival rate for, um, of 25% over five years. And um, this ELN uh, categorization is really the main um, prognosis uh, factor of interest. So this is, uh, there are chemotherapies available and they work very well. Um, however, they don't really uh, cure the cancer, they just um, treat it. And so uh, an interesting recent study in Nature um, has evidence that these chemotherapies really are uh, aggressive towards the proliferative cancerous cells rather than the underlying um, um, pre-leukemic mutant uh, stem cells that remain that aren't targeted by the chemotherapy. Um, and so this is very much still a disease uh, being studied. Uh, and so the, my hypothesis coming to this project was that adding additional curation, uh, adding additional annotations to these data sets um, will better inform predictive models. And this seemed like a great opportunity to uh, take advantage of the Transmart tool uh, for both storing and sharing these data sets that I'm interested in curating. So the project goal, uh, there are three phases. Um, and the initial phase is really to learn what all can be captured from the, these public data sets. Um, and then in phase two and three, to really tweak the uh, template and ontologies to capture everything available. And so the first phase, I'm interested in just doing, uh, you know, seeing what's out there and doing uh, 10 study, um, 10 
data set study, uh, moving on up to 50 and 100 um, from GEO, TCGA, um, CCLE, uh, a bunch of public repositories, um, and ultimately to be hosted in a, a public instance of Transmart um, and on GitHub, as Peter alluded to. Um, and so the different phases really allowed me to understand, like I mentioned, what is available um, in these data sets. Um, it's been talked about before that they're kind of messy when they're put into public repositories, that they have to make standardizations, and with those standardizations uh, is sacrificed uh, granularity. And so um, this project really seeks to uh, pull that detail back out and, um, and standardize it between the studies um, using a, a standard template for the disease and um, using ontologies that are both uh, public and uh, which I created specifically for this project. Um, so here you can see uh, the templates that I um, developed or, or that were the first, so phase one, I, I used a generic template which um, captured a lot of good data. It also captured a lot of uh, data that's kind of irrelevant to, this, to my focus um, and it was actually missing a lot of data. And so what I learned in the first phase um, for those 10 studies or so um, was to tweak the template um, and then add actually uh, additional ontologies that I have in later slides to capture more relevant data. Um, so here's an example of a, a TCGA study. Um, it has as many samples as the combined uh, NCBI geo studies um, that I was talking about earlier. And this template is uh, the version two, the, the phase two that you can see really captures um, all the relevant data. This is for one sample of the uh, TCGA AML data set. Um, so yeah, the, the ontologies, this is really the power, the standardization between the studies, across the studies, um, that um, comes built in, um, that I was able to uh, create and uh, with those built-in ontologies, I could edit them um, and ultimately export them also. Um, and so for AML, it was really important to capture for that ELN classification that I was mentioning earlier. Um, it's really important to capture uh, karyotype and staging data for this AML disease. And uh, it, in the generic template, it was being missed. And so I put in fields uh, quite simply that captured um, these the, the, um, characteristics in fields in the template. Um, and so building, the temp building these ontologies was quite simple. Um, I did it um, through this tool. Uh, there's a really um, awesome, you know, you can just see what all data is, in, is uh, available from these text files that are imported um, and see how they're matching to the template, see what data is being captured, what you're missing, and then you can really easily um, augment the or, or change the template to capture more of what is available. Um, and once again, uh, making, uh, you're, you're capturing standardized data because you're using the ontologies which are restricted within the template. Um, and ultimately, a really exciting feature was um, the ability to uh, group them into cohorts based on the most, uh, you know, relevant, clinically relevant and variable uh, fields. Um, and so for instance, um, one of the, the FAB, um, leukemia, uh, AML um, <laughs> severity scores are uh, shown here. Um, and so this is actually the feed that gets exported once I'm finished curating these data sets. Uh, this is actually from the phase one, the 10 uh, geo and the, and the one TCGA study. So this can be pushed directly into Transmart. And so here we can see all the annotated data sets, um, the 10 or so. I think um, are here, and this is just a really boring uh, initial analysis that we actually did this morning, taking this screenshot, um, showing that um, the data sets are all fairly uniform, um, even though they're from different studies, and you know the studies uh, done by their own uh, principal investigators had their own interest, and so only captured certain uh, characteristics, we can still standardize them. Um, even if that involves including uh, not applicable data or, or data that's not available. Um, and so the conclusion to this, my, my preliminary work has been um, fitting the, curating these data sets and fitting them into a, a Transmart friendly format that can be uh, pushed and then shared with the community. Um, and that is our intention 
after curating uh, in phase three over 100 data sets um, to give them to the community. Um, I also have an, an interest in, anal in analyzing these um, secondarily. Um, but yeah, they'll be, they'll be available on a public instance of Transmart as well as on a GitHub. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to take them now. Hi, a question about your curation of the ontologies. Could you, you sure. kind of ran through that very quickly? You mentioned there was a tool you were using to do the curation. Um, so this is all done in uh, the Elevatus Curator tool. And so there's a, an ontology manager tab that's it's a really simple tool that's just pretty much like creating files, file directories on your computer desktop. And I mean, they look like file directories here. Um, and so it's really simple. And um, yeah, I mean, that's so it's built into the Curator tool. And once you import uh, ontologies, you can actually edit them also to fit your study specifically. All right, no more questions. Thank you for your time.